welcome to another episode of Game On. I am your host, Slash Chapter. We don't have very many items left, but I am going to go and attempt, and likely fail several times, to beat up Kent C. Koopa, the big boss over on the edge there. Now, he is extremely difficult to damage because of, you know, how much damage he does, just as a, as a general rule. But I don't need that, and I don't need that, and I don't need that and that. So I've got nine points that I can put in. So let's use a uh, quick change, and we can put in power jump, maybe. Maybe power smash. I guess double dip would be pretty good. Close call, and let's go with, I don't know, why don't we put on D down jump, which will lower his defense. Wait, I need to take a nap, what am I doing? Ken C. Koopa is very, very hard. He's a frickin' beast. Hey, you in the hat! Wait! It's foreign weather, isn't it? My name is Ken C. Koopa. Please remember it, okay? If you want to use this road, you need to pay me a hundred coins. So sorry, but that's how it is. You don't pay, you don't pass. Coins make the world go round. It's all about the money. You want to fight? You're nuts. Look at me. I'll cream you. Because, to be frank, I'm very, very, very strong. Are you sure you want to fight? Well, I have no choice. I warned you, though. This may hurt a little bit. <laughs> Look how he says that. This is going to hurt. <laughs> this is Ken C. Koopa. He seems pretty greedy for such a large Koopa. Match, max HP 70, attack power 10, defense power 6. He sometimes does a stamp attack with his shell. That attack has a power of 3. His shell attack also damages party members like me, so be sure to, uh, to defend. As with all Koopas, your chances will be greatly improved if you can flip him over. His defense power will drop. Watch it though, he'll attack as soon as he's back on his feet. And by the way, is he not the mo he hugest Koopa ever? Somebody told me that he used to live in Koopa Village. Oh god, what am I gonna do? Okay, first of all, let's chill out. Which will lower his attack. By at least three, which is a start. Let's change member to Watt, I guess, because she can paralyze things. That wasn't going to work. I still did one damage. Well, I've got him down to half health, more or less. So we are definitely making some progress here. Very slowly making progress, I should say. This is a really, really difficult boss. It's an excellent fight. It takes a lot of strategy. 
I really enjoy fighting this guy. Because you can't just attack him with strong things, because being a Koopa, he's immune to most things that you would think he could, you could damage him with. And you really just need to watch your back, and every move you make is just gonna be... has to be so carefully planned out. Like, I could be going the defensive route right now and using Bow, but I don't feel like doing that, because I like to just do a little bit of damage and then kind of retreat. Like some other bosses, Kent C. Koopa cannot heal. He doesn't have that ability. Which is good, because it would be close to impossible if he could do that. I'm, I'm getting very lucky this time around. Like, if I keep this up, he's down. He'll be down for the count no matter what. I think I just discovered the, the secret to this boss is that when you use the D down pound on an enemy, you can do full damage with the attack despite the enemy having high defense. I never, I thought that what it would do is literally you would jump on them, it would do normal damage based on their defense, and then from then on it would lower their defense, like chill out lowers their attack. This is also working out for the best because I can use chill out at least, well this is my third time, but I won't be able to use it for quite a while now. It'll take too long for my thing to charge up again. But by the time that happens, he should be dead. And I won't have to worry about it. Okay, but now we're getting pretty diff now we're getting pretty dangerous here. So let's double dip on the dried fruit. And a super shrimp. That chill out is extremely useful because it prevents him from disabling your party members. Oh yes, thank you Marley, this is exactly what I needed. Oh my god, I killed him just like that! Look at that! Beautiful! 20 points right there. Wow, I don't think I've ever had an easy time with him. Wow, you must be really strong. I mean, beating a guy my size? I guess I have to give up. See you later. <laughs> that was good. Okay, so now anybody who was, everybody, everyone and everybody who was watching now knows a great strategy for beating Ken C. Coop but without much difficulty at all. That was not hard. That D down jump is really helpful. Okay, let's put back all of the other ones I had. Uh, you know, I'm gonna... Uh, close call. We'll put Spike Shield back on. Well, I don't think I need that, actually, for a little while. But I'll put Refund on. And we'll put Close Call on. I don't think I'll need the Spike Shield in the next area, really. Um, so I've still got 3 BP. Let's put it into... Uh, how about Power Quake? And I guess spin smash. There. So now let's go take a nap. There's one more boss that I want to take down before we go. It's not really a boss, but it's a strong enemy that I want to try and take down before we go any further. And it's relatively the same. It's, a, it's much easier overall than the boss I just did. Kensi Koopa is really hard. Um, but not bad hard, like challenging hard. It's, it, he's fun to fight, like I said. Oh, and then we also have to go deal with Chuck Quizma over here. Mega Quake! Ooh. Yeah. 3 BP for Mega Quake? No, I can't, I can't do it. I don't need Mega Quake. It'll, it, it, it's, it'll be too overpowered, you know? It'll be a waste of BP. Even Mega Quake itself is, is, is just as is useful enough as it is. Chuck Quizmo here! Wanna try the quiz? Sure. Let's get to the question! Question! How many windows does the Goomba House in Goomba Village have? One. I know that's the right answer because I used to get this wrong all the time. 
Here's your star piece. You got the star piece. You've correctly answered six questions so far. Good luck next time. Do, 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 do. Uh, one more piece and we should be able to go in a fourth and then afford another power plus badge, but I don't think I'll end up using it on that. I've got a decent amount of things that I can heal myself with, but not nearly enough for me to be ready. So I'm going to head over to the store, and then we'll make our way to the Toad Town sewers in the next episode. So until then, peace out, and game on. 